What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walk through the, I guess 2022, maybe 2023, if we get there season? I don't know. Okay, so in our last episode, we went all the way through Route 34, battled quite a few trainers, and left Togepi in the daycare because, well, we kind of need Togepi to grow up a little by itself over there. We got this, don't worry about it. So anywho, here we are in Goldenrod City, and we got a lot of stuff to cover right here, guys, like uh, the Goldenrod department store. That's a big, big place. Uh, first things first, guys. There is a place right here where you can actually find a bike. Talk to this guy, and he's going to be like, I know there's a bike shop, but I can't find it anywhere. Well, all you have to do is go through these alleyways right here and talk or go in here. And it looks very vacant right here. Talk to him. He's like, huh. I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Sure, why not? Really? Great. Give me your name and phone number, and I'll loan you a bicycle. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves a bicycle. It's always nice. My bicycles are first rate. You can ride them anywhere. Which is great, because, well, we kind of needed a bike. Anywho. New mechanic that they added right here in Generation 2 was that, you know, you can go into the key items and you can actually press a select. That way, when you press select on the buttons right here, you will be able to actually get that item and bam, right around everywhere. And this right here is actually giving me more of a, of a, of a chance to increase the levels on Togepi. Now, initially I was going to be going to the gym right here, but uh, yeah, our Pokemon are deeply under, under leveled. So what is going to happen right here first is we're going to be taking care of a few things. Like, let's go ahead and here. Talk to this person, and she's going to be like, are you a trainer? I've got a useful number for you, okay? Here we have Bill's number. If you guys don't remember, Bill is the individual who made the PC for the Pokemon storage. So that right there is a, a useful number. Now, we're going to be going right here into the underground entrance. This place is uh, very notorious for a few things, kind of like battling some Pokemon trainers and all that stuff, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We need to battle some trainers, because, uh, yeah, we, 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 we definitely need to increase the leveling and all that crud. All right, here we go. I got booted out of the game corner. I was trying to cheat using my Pokemon. Well, if you were trying to do that... Yeah, you probably need to, you probably deserve to get kicked out. So here we go, Super Nerd Eric wants the battle list. Here he comes out with a Grimer. Alright, let's see what happens right here. Let's go, Lucky. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a ground type move just yet, but here comes the water gun attack. Let's see how power oh wow, it's not that powerful. Yeah. Oh god. Okay, so let's go. Water gun attack for the win. Hopefully. And oh, that right there takes a Kind of like a, kind of like a, whatchamacallit, a, uh, <laughs> a critical hit, but now we got disabled, and this guy's gonna be going straight for a hardened attack. Yeah, it's really, really pissing me off right now, so here we go, slam attack, nearly wins it. Let's go again, one more slam, and slam does it. Oh, yes. So there's some more experience points for Lucky, and, well, let's go with another Grimer, so let's go straight to Serpentera. Yes. Man, I am, I am actually, hmm, very happy that I have Serpentera because this guy right here, the tank, and we do have Butt Slap, so that's another move that, you know, we can actually use against this guy, and well, look at this, Grimer has got a critical hit, and well, Pound Attack will not work, so let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with a Headbutt Attack, mm-hmm, Headbutt does it, and well, there we go, hmm, okay, all right, so we, we, we seem to be doing pretty well right here. I'm not too disappointed just yet. And uh, let's continue on and talk to this guy. My Pokemon just got a haircut. I'll show you how strong it is. Okay, how strong can it be? All righty, here we go, Emo. Mr. Emo going up against Isaac, and he is coming out with a Lickitung. Okay, so Lickitung right here, normal type Pokemon, will lick you exactly what it is. Like, it's exactly what it means. It's going to lick ya. So here we go, slam attack, and wow, it has cut. Oh my god, and we have missed. Let's go right ahead and switch it. Let's go straight to Chico right here. Okay, bring it on. 
And that gut attack will not hurt us a lot. So let's go straight for a Razor Leaf attack right here. And look at that. Razor Leaf gives it a good one. Now, maybe I should have poisoned this guy. That way it would have gotten double damage right here. So let's go straight for the poison. Poison powder. And there we go. You've been poisoned. And here comes another cat or cut attack. All right, so you're being hurt by the gut, or you're being hurt by the poison. Let's go straight for a razor leaf attack yet again. All righty, and there you go. Oh, nearly defeats him. Jeez, okay, so I'm giving these guys a little bit too many, like I'm giving them too many opportunities right here. So there we go, Lucky, Chico, doing their thing. And yeah, okay, <laughs> he's like, hey. Okay, so let's see, let's grab this. We're going to find ourselves a coin case that will enable us to go into the game corner. Now, there are going to be... Well, actually, this is ac this is actually new to me. Hold on. Hello, dear. I sell inexpected, inexpensive herbal medicine. They're good, but a trifle bitter. Your Pokemon may not like them. <laughs> so, here we have the Energy Powder, Energy Root, Heal Powder, Revival Herb. All of these are bitter, and yes, they will knock off a few happiness points from your Pokemon. So if you guys need one of these, like, you know, need a quick healing item or something like that, these are the way to go. But just realize that, yeah, they're going to be, they're not going to like it, not one bit. So sorry about that. Now, if you talk to this person right here, this is a haircut person, and oh, yeah. The haircut will actually make a Pokemon happy, which I probably should have. Uh, I probably should have saved. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna save that for Togepi right here because eventually it needs to evolve through the happiness and all that stuff. And well, we got two more traders here. Do you consider type alignments in battle? If you know your type advantages, you'll be. You'll do better in battle. Well, somebody is speaking my language right here. Okay, here we go. Taking on. Teru. And yes, he is coming out with a Magnemite. Oh, wow. So, that kind of just hit me right in the face a little because, yeah, it is a Steel-type Pokemon in this generation. So, let's go right ahead and switch out these Pokemon. And, well, Serpentera, you got the move. Here comes the Tackle Attack. Not so effective. Let's go. Mud Slap. And that should be quadruple damage. Yes, it is. Okay, alrighty, and well, let's see, who's next, Magnemite, let's continue on, Serpentera, level 14, ready to go, and yes, we are taking on a level 9 Magnemite right here, and well, look at that, Magnemite has been defeated, okay, alrighty, and that, that actually increases a little bit more, and here comes a Voltorb, so let's just continue on right here with Serpentera. Yes, it's slow, but it's still good, so here you go, tackle attack, mm-mm, not going to work like that, so here comes Mud Slap, mm-hmm, and that will lower Vol Voltorb's uh, accuracy right there, and yes, here we go, Mud Slap for the win, okay, alrighty, and Serpentera right here grows to level 15, not bad, and well, let's see what's next. He's coming out with a Magnemite, so I'm just going to take care of this with uh, our good old buddy Serpentera right here. Alrighty. Mud Slap. Does it do it? Can it do it? And yes, it is super effective. There we go. Okay, so there goes a Super Nerd Teru. And well, what is next right here? So, as you guys can see, this is an entranceway to the underground path. Unfortunately, it is uh, locked right now, so we can't do anything about that. Let's go right ahead and battle this guy. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. Okay, but you're gonna lose. Okay, so here we go, Pokemaniac Donald, and he's coming out with a Slowpoke right here. Man, I keep on choosing the, the I keep on choosing the incorrect Pokemon. So let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go straight to Fluffbolt. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, I'm gonna get hit like that, and well, here comes a thunder shock, and well, there 
there we go. Slowpoke defeated. And we get a little boost, so there we go. Level 17, how you doing? Okay. And what do we got right here? Coming out with another Slowpoke. Let's just continue on right here. And Slowpoke, you're looking like a mean, mean type of dude. So let's go straight for a Thundershock. And there we go. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Look at that. Okay. So we get more points, and just like that, we defeated Pokemaniac Donald. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so what's next? Nothing. Alright, so we completed this portion right here, and well, let's see. Is there anything else that I need to check out before I... I, I before anything happens. Uh, well, the department store right here does have it does have a few good moves that we can actually buy. I kind of actually want to show you guys right here. So let's go straight up here and let's see. Talk to this guy. In this area you can actually buy regular items that you normally see in other places. Talk to this guy. You'd buy, oh yeah, same, same old, same old. And let's see, we gotta go up here. And I think it's this individual right here that actually sells some stuff. Uh, yeah, he. This is the X area where you can actually buy some X items and all that crud. Come down here, and we're gonna be talking to this guy. And this guy is the vitamin store, so that's also a good thing. That way I can actually, you know, get my Pokemon to learn. Now, if you talk to this girl right here, he's like, Mystery Gift. With just a little beep, you can uh, you can get a gift. So after talking to this girl, the mystery gift has now the mystery gift option has now been uh, enabled and all that stuff in the in the start or in your start screen. Talk to this guy, and we got some rare TMs. As you guys can see, TM41 is Thunder Punch. This is Fire Punch, and this is Ice Punch. All of them are, yeah, they're, 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 yeah, they, they cost a little money. Now, as you guys can see right here, TMO2, we just had that, which, uh, well, I'll, I'll buy it later on. It is Headbutt, so that's a move that you can actually buy over and over again, and then, oh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I thought she was going to give me something, but, nah. This is a good place to actually buy some good TMs. I really miss, I really miss the Thunder Punch TM. You know, Thunder Punch. Icy Punch and all that stuff. Why did they take that away? I don't know. So, let's see. Is there anything else that we need to take care of? Okay, so... We got the uh, radio station right here. If you take a look, there's an individual and he's like, So this is the radio tower. What do you want? Or, what do you want, you pest? Scram! Hmm. Okay, so that, that right there is a... Uh, he, he, he doesn't like us. And uh, yes, Goldenrod is also famous for the railroad area, which unfortunately is not working because, well, there's something's going on. There's no power. And it is the railroad where you can actually go straight to the Johto re or the Kanto region. Now, if you go right here, talk to this lady, she's going to be like, we have a special quiz campaign on right now. Answer five questions correctly to win a radio card. Slide in or slide into your Poke Gear to play the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to take the quiz? Yes, we will. Okay, so question one. Is there a Pokemon that only appears in the morning? Yes. As you guys probably already know, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal introduce the day-night cycle. And then here we have question number two. Is this statement correct? You can't buy a berry at the Pokemart. Yes, that is correct. You can only get berries over at the, well, you can only get berries over in, uh, what was it called again? Oh yeah. In trees. Now, bullseye number three. HMO1 contains the move Flash. No, it contains the move Cut. And then Faulkner is the Violet City gym leader who uses bird Pokemon. Yes, this is true. Wow, and the final question is Do the Goldenrod game corner slots have Charmander on their reels? No. And there you go, guys. We got all five questions correct. Here it is. We get ourselves a radio card much needed radio card which is great and well I think that's pretty much it right there hmm what else do we need to do not a lot so yeah that was the first introduction to this whole area right here guys of goldenrod in the next episode I believe yeah we're gonna be going upstairs or we're gonna be going up to the route 
uh, north of Goldenrod. We're going to be battling a few more trainers, training up our Pokemon, you know, getting ready for what's ahead because, uh, yeah, we got a little infamous, uh, a little infamous gym battle to, to attend to. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. If you guys want to make a small donation, heart button's down there. If you guys want to join because, well, Pokemon Silver's coming in November. For members only, I should say. Yeah, click on that button right over there. I'm pointing, but you guys can't see. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.